Now I want to start with Qantas, the Yes campaign's latest headline supporter. Today, outgoing Qantas CEO Alan Joyce announced that the airline made a record underlying profit of just under $2.5 billion after a $10 billion lift in revenue in the 2023 financial year. This comes after the airline hiked the price of air for airfares by some 30%. It also comes after Qantas enjoyed a $2 billion taxpayer bailout during the pandemic, a sum they still haven't offered or endeavoured to pay back, unlike, for instance, Lufthansa, the national carrier of Germany, which has fully paid back the German taxpayer the billions it received in financial assistance during COVID. It gets better. Although Qantas still won't resume paying the dividends it cancelled during the pandemic, the airline will buy back $500 million worth of its own shares. Meanwhile, Alan Joyce, the bloke who is behind all of this, is taking home $2.2 million plus $4.5 million worth of shares after his resignation as CEO. Well, how about that? Joining me to discuss this and more is the Australian newspaper's media writer, Sophie Ellsworth. Sophie, welcome to the program. Well, this is something of the end of an era with Alan Joyce leaving, but the price of flights continues to go up and the government is blocking new flights from landing in Australia from competing airlines in a way that constrains that downward pressure on prices from competition. What's going on here? Amanda, Qantas used to be a premium airline. Uh, you would get top-notch service, you'd pay a bit extra, but it would be well worth it. And I think a lot of customers are increasingly disgruntled with the airline. As you have mentioned, there's many issues uh, of late with the airline, including their COVID credit schemes. Uh, you know, they've made themselves incredibly partisan. They were standing there last week, Alan Joyce, with the Prime Minister, putting the Yes 23 stickers on one of the aircrafts. I was actually on an aeroplane this afternoon with one of those Yes 23 stickers on the side of it. Uh, they're really focusing, I think, on the wrong areas rather than on customer service, good customer service. And I think uh, these CEOs rewarding themselves with massive bonuses and so forth uh, doesn't really sit well with the average punter. So, uh, but it is an end of an era for Alan Joyce. So let's see what the new CEO does and whether things change.